All right, y'all, it's up in smoke. We back out here with another one. You already know, we at a very special place today. So we've been here already, but supposedly they have a whole new collection here. So I'm hoping that there's actually something good in there. If I show you the building, you have to remember it. But without further ado, we're right here at the Peterson Auto Museum. We got some new sick cars in there, so just stay tuned. I'm gonna get back with y'all, see what we got in there. Back in the James Bond room, making our way up these swirly stairs. Let's go up there, see what else they got. I just want to start off with this because I was literally driving this car in Forza last night. If you guys got Forza, drop a comment below. We play Forza Horizon 5 strictly. But I literally just <laughs> liked this car last night. You see it. Anybody with Forza, tap in. Lock it up. Uh, now let's see what else they got. I'm not sure what industry floor means, but we're about to find out. A couple motorcycles and stuff here. I'm not really a motorcycle guy, nor do I know really much anything about them. However, if I do have to pick a motorcycle, I'm always gonna take a dirt bike, four wheeler, whatever. This place is huge in here, though. I don't remember it being this big last time. Oh, that's cool having a whole Porsche meet here. I had no idea. See where it leads us to now. No, what are these? This is a sick room, though. Look at the car list. What do you guys call these? Hot rods, I think they got them. One like this definitely got to be called a hot rod, if I'm not mistaken. You could correct me if I'm wrong, but... I know they got to be some fun to drive. Oh, an electric hot rod. What's up, guys? Now I think we seen one of these like a few weeks ago. Now I don't remember which video it was, but this is apparently 
not the same company I thought it was. So they called DeLorean, but they're not at all associated with the DeLorean from Back to the Future. So I don't know if I like it anymore. It sounded more cool when it was, but <laughs> new DeLorean Alpha 5. I think that's the name. This is a cool paint. It's like a Honda Civic paint. The coral. But yeah, the Marion Alpha 5. <laughs> Would these ever hit the road? Who knows, but this is sick. Here we go, back to the swirly stairs of death. Mind you, it's 10 a.m. still, guys. In case you haven't realized. I don't know what in the world all these people are doing here at 10 a.m., but... We made it to the last floor. <laughs> the history floor. Dun -dun 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 -dun. This is filled with old, old cars. Before my time. Before your time. 1953. 1900. A Bugatti. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't like these cars. Someone using Black Panther apparently. This is cool though. All scratched up, shot up. Alright guys, this right here is where the i8 came from. Back in like 2010, 2009, I think, they came out with this concept car. Roughly what they did was take most of this and put in the i8. Of course, besides those mirrors and glass doors, but this is where the bulk of it came from. They called it, see, 2009. Pretty cool, see where it started from. All right, now this is more my style. You gotta get away from the bikes and into this right here. You see it? <laughs> you don't wanna see it was to my left or to my right, but we're just gonna have to dive in. in the world is this I'll warn you guys now be prepared to see cars you might not know because at the same time I don't even know what this is and other cars I'm seeing around here right now probably only know about two out of the 10 to 12 so if anybody knows comment down below before I show you but to be exact I never even heard of this car you see the name of it is, without further ado, it's called in Area, Area FXE, this is sick, guess it's just a concept, never made it to light, but still dope to look at. Part two of cars you might not know. I, I don't know what this is. I'm sure you don't know what this is. But before I show you the name, see if any of you can guess it. Don't cheat. It looks ridiculous. Tell you that. Kind of looks like a Bugatti. Kind of doesn't. This is sick though. Without further ado, this one is called the Hyperion and it's ran by hydrogen, which I think is water, but what I know is water. Sick though. Sick. Alright, let's see what else we got. 
Here we go, part three of cars we might not know. Uh, again, I don't know what this is. I can't see the plate. I can't let you guys see that. But if anybody knows, this looks pretty cool too. I was thinking of Ferrari just because of the red, but it's not. Sick, it has a cluster in the middle. RPM, speed, everything's in the middle. And it's six speed gated. This is pretty cool. But yeah, I didn't know what it was. Turns out they call these a Ken Okuyama. This is sick. Part four cars you don't know. What in the world is this? This looks sick. Look at the body lines on that. From the door to the rear quarter panel. Got stars stitched into the door and the headrest. What is this? Anybody know? This point, am I even looking at real cars? Like, what, what am I looking at? Somebody tell me, please. This one, they calling it a Laraki. Laraki. I'm gonna call it Laraki Sahara. Sick though. We have a very limited Kona Zig right here. The color combo is insane. Got the red stripe, white with the carbon, goes great. Looks good. I don't know what's the significance of the one one, but I'm gonna just say that means it's one of one. Apparently, it's the world's first one to one power to weight ratio. Whatever that means. This is sick though. It has two calipers on it. Even one one branded on the exhaust. Yeah, this is a pretty sick spec. Seen this one on the channel many times before. Pagani, fully exposed carbon. It's like blue, purplish, a little bit of green. It's sick though. That's cool. If you tap your phone on that Pagani emblem, it gives you all the information on this car. Look how they charge them too. This is sick. I didn't even know it had the Italian stripe up front. In my opinion, it looks great on this carbon. These stripes. Pretty cool spec for a Pagani. Zonda Tricolore. Here we go. We've seen one of these on the channel before. A Bugatti Chiron Per Sport. I think this is one of the fastest cars out right now, if I'm not mistaken. Until the Jesco comes out, that is. You heard him. 3.6 million for one of these. If you ask Andrew tell you about his Bugatti, he paid five, but he got head cracked. This is pretty sick, though. All these other car companies may be coming out with faster cars, electric this, electric that, but Bugatti's always gonna be a special place in everyone's heart. Like, no matter what, you cannot beat these. Look at the back on that. Everybody's always gonna love this car. Now we 
definitely seen one of these on the channel before too. Last year, Cars and Copters meet. It's also coming up this year. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. We'll, come, we'll talk about that another time, but this car right here is pretty sick. You might have got a glimpse right there, but what is it exactly called? The Lamborghini Sion FKP. Now this spec is ridiculous. We've seen a cool one in that video. If you haven't watched that one too, go down below right now. Click my name, go find that. Cars and Copters last year. But this one is like a red up front. So you can see right here, we got the accents of carbon. But the whole body fades into the carbon. That is sick right there. And it's a 63. It's like the Aventadors. One of my favorite part about these is like the lights are like little Legos. That is hard though. The, 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 the carbon faded. Like look where it fades. Look at that red. Yeah, this is a unicorn car right here. I would love to have one of these one day. It's another one I've seen before on their page. I don't know what kind of car it is. I'm sure you might not, might not know. You might. But if you do, comment down below. Let us know what this is. It is sick though. It's probably like one of one for all I know. But let me see what's the name of this. Alright, I got the name. Let's see if you guys can guess it. But check it out. It's literally purple carbon fiber. This car just looks insane. I don't know if it's the purple carbon or the body line, but that trunk looks insane, but it is called Hispano Suiza Carmen Balone. The tribute to that right there. I would prefer this one much better. This is sick. car looks insane see from windshield 10 for the win you cannot ever beat that the cars look savage when they tinted out like that but what car is this i have no idea again i wish i did but i don't oh wow all right the hennessy venom f5 this looks sick this actually might be a real thing look at that exhaust that's how you do it center exit tri-tip Hats off to you, Hennessy. That's how you do it. I feel like we've seen one of these at like one of the cars and coffees or something, but this is still pretty sick. Maybe not the same exact version, but definitely an exposed carbon one. We're calling this one the Gotham. This is sick though. Blue exposed carbon. Two tones. Fifteen hundred horsepower. Full carbon interior. So a hell of a car right here. Alright, so the truth of the matter is what really made me want to come here was seeing this on some Instagram I think. Their Instagram, I think they posted it, but they got the new Kona egg, so without further ado. Like a mirror concept. This car looks insane in person. I can't even imagine these. The door barely even fits in the camera. This is sick though. Look at the wheels. Matt exposed carbon. Matt exposed carbon interior. This is ridiculous. This car right here does not even look real. I only seen these in Forza. 
I didn't even know it existed. This is a real FXXK Evo. Now, if you played Forza Horizon 4, you know this is the only car that I think does 300. Maybe not in real life, but in the game, if you had this car, Forza Horizon 4, you were that guy. Nobody was touching you. This is sick though. Look at those mirrors. Can't forget about this though. The Monaco SP1. This car doesn't even look real either. A one seater. It looks like it has a cover. You could probably put the second seat back if you wanted. 2020. This is insane. This is crazy to see where they're going with these cars nowadays. I've never seen anyone actually drive one. Look at that. All the controls. I've seen one on Rodeo Drive with a dealer plate and that was it. And that one had two seats. But this is unreal. Two unicorns back to back. Like the back of this car is insane. It doesn't even look real. So you can see it's charging too. So some kind of hybrid in this. Doesn't even have windows. I love this car right here. We could only wish. Like even if we had the money, you know how hard it must be to find one of these. This is just insane. Let's see these two back to back. That's gonna do it for this one. See the building back there. We just finished. Seen a lot of nice cars in there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.